Hello everybody. This very brief video is about road wheels. As you see in this photograph, I've had a rubber tyre become detached from the original cast wheel. So at the moment, as you can see in that photograph, I'm just drifting the pin out. There we go. Take the pin out so I can remove the wheel and put the replacement wheel on that I've got. I'm reusing the bearings and in fact everything inside the hub. This is a period photograph of one of the rare fabricated British wheels that were used uh, later on in the war uh, to supplement the cast wheels. Uh, I, I decided to pick one of those. This came from Normandy actually um, because they're pretty rare and they go to tell a bit of a story about the troubles and problems in British manufacturing and, and how they were overcome. You see a little video now of me dropping it in and then putting the pin back through, hold it in place. It's interesting the colour differences, that's actually the same tin of paint um, but the wheel was painted yesterday, the bogey was painted three or four years ago. So you can see just what the, uh, and can this be in the garage and in, basically in the dark as well. So that's just generally how the colour of the paint changes over time. So you see I'm just uh, lining everything up when I've got a rubber hammer to persuade the pin to go back through. There you go. Pretty straightforward really. Obviously you've got very slightly different tolerances as you walk as you go around the carrier. Sometimes the pin will go through fine, other times the pins are really difficult. It just it just depends on what the tolerance stack up is on the particular wheel that you're working on and bogey. Yeah, so I've done that. Now I can happily push the carrier in and out the garage. So I've got the space when I push the carrier outside uh, to cover everything in plastic inside and paint all the bodywork before the weather gets too cold. So hopefully in the next video, you might see some painting being done or maybe the carrier finished. Who knows?